Welcome back to this edition of Community Health Matters, exploring behavioral health services and treatment at Vista Community Clinic. Joining us now is Dr. Murray Bennett. Welcome to the show, Dr. Thank Bennett. You. Thanks for having me. So your role at uh, VCC is? A psychiatrist. And yeah. So I, I interview patients and uh, we formulate a sense of what's going on with that person in terms of their problems and their, their worries. Um, get a treatment plan set up, and sometimes that includes medications, often it involves psychotherapy, um, and we, we get that all lined up for them. Sometimes there's some investigations that need to be done, like a blood test or something, um, but we get all that set up from the first visit. And then follow them from there as, a, as part of a team. Mm -hmm. And how does a, in a behavioral health setting, in terms of speaking about that, how does a psychiatrist differ from a psychologist? Um, well, uh, I know that the uh, psych is at the beginning of both of the names, so it's kind of confusing. And we both study psychological illness and, and uh, uh, all the theories about treatment. Psychologists have uh, training um, uh, that specializes only in, 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 in psychological factors, and psychiatry goes after medical school. So all psychiatrists have completed medical school and then afterwards done training in psychiatry in the same way that a medical student on graduation would consider being an obstetrician or a neurologist, a uh, family doctor, pathologist, they can choose to go into psychiatry. And so we're in the, within the more of the medical uh, side of, of that uh, spectrum. Your uh, colleague, uh, Carol Wallstein, mentioned a new program at VCC called, let me get this right, Medication... Assisted Treatment, yes. So are you the person that is assessing that and, and, and di uh, I don't know if it's diagnosing, mm -hmm. is that correct? Help me with um, that. Medication Assisted Treatment is a, f a form of uh, clinical care directed towards addictions. And in some addictions, a medication can assist with that. In other cases, we're you know, moving to more towards uh, uh, complete abstinence. Um, and and uh, I am part of that uh, on the side, uh, but the more uh, lead doctors are some of the internal medicine docs uh, who are working with patients with uh, pain syndromes and uh, substance use concerns and then helping them make that transition to a safer uh, regimen. So it sounds like, especially with this behavioral health services, it's, it's beginning to sound like it's a collection of, of things and that's why you, you have a team to sort of address it. So is a, is a patient going to more than one doctor? Is that, is that a fair assessment? True. It's, it's uh, uh, the idea of having um, a home within the five clinics or more. There actually is more than five clinics now. Um, uh, at Vista uh, Community. Yeah, Vista, Vista Community Clinics. We have various sites. Um, and so you would see providers at any one of those sites, but we're all linked within one system of care. Um, generally, it starts with your, your primary medical provider, a family doctor or a woman center, maybe how uh, a patient gets first involved with a pregnancy and then connects with the clinic with their child, going to the pediatric clinic mm -hmm. and following, following up with family medicine. Um, and uh, psychiatry and uh, the therapists are a part of that. Uh, we, we link as part of a team. <clears throat> the idea is that the patient doesn't have to go away from their home, their clinic, it's the same place they get all their medical care and their dental care and the chiropractic care. One, one home setting, yes. kind of, so to speak. So why does behavioral health services play such a critical role in the overall health and well-being? Well, it, it, our, our um, overall health includes both physical and mental. Um, and one pushes up against the other. Uh, it's pretty clear evidence for us in the science community that um, uh, mental illness when treated properly helps patients cope with their medical illness better. So a diabetic patient does much better in terms of managing their diabetes if someone also pays attention to the problems with panic attacks or depression. A uh, patient with a, a heart trouble, similarly, if they have having problems with blood pressure and they've had a heart attack and they have anxiety, having someone properly take care of that anxiety at the same time means they're going to do better with managing their heart condition as well. So obviously you take the, the physical in account when you're doing your sessions as a psychiatrist yes. and exploring their treatment and, and that, or can, that can include medications, but it also looks at lifestyle, which they hear about from their family medicine doc. They also hear about it from us mm -hmm. um, on, on the behavioral side about diet and exercise, participating in community, uh, volunteering, being active, reconnecting with family, um, maintaining some sort of regular rit rituals. Uh, 
and getting, getting the more of life. Mm -hmm. So of course in my brain when I hear a, a psychiatrist, mm -hmm. I, I think about the, the, the chair, the, the chase lounge, mm -hmm. and I see Dr. Bennett there. Is, is, is that? That's, that's kind of an old Woody Allen <laughs> um, a script thing from, from uh, a psychoanalysis in Manhattan where I think there still are a lot of uh, psychoanalysts and um, people who have very deep pockets to pay to see a therapist on a daily basis. Um, we try to destigmatize that as best we can and have simple offices where there's just a chair and I talk and I'm probably going to be typing into the computer while we talk so I can keep notes um, and, and uh, try to make it simple as, as easy as possible. Mm -hmm. So there's no couch, there's no laying down, it's just sit and talk. But it's, so it's still that, again, the someone listening and someone talking and it's, it's, it's an assessment and... Initial visit is an assessment mm -hmm. um, and then over time, uh, you know, it, it's a follow-up visit in terms of how well did this treatment that we started, you know, last month, how, how has it worked? Are there any side effects? Did, did this work or not? Uh, and make some adjustments from there. And also make sure you acknowledge the improvements that, you know, this is great, you know, you're making great progress. So what kind of conditions are you personally seeing coming into the, into your? Uh, primarily in a, in a primary care clinic like we have here with uh, Vista Community Clinics, we, we see problems with depression, uh, anxiety. Some patients have problems with panic attack, uh, panic attacks and panic disorder. Um, uh, people may have had some traumatic event in their life or something more recently like a car accident can cause uh, some element of PTSD, post-traumatic stress. So that, in that kind of setting we work directly with the therapist uh, uh, where the psychotherapy plays a primary role. Um, and sometimes our patients have problems with addictions, they've had troubles with alcohol or uh, uh, other substances and so we'll help steer them in the right direction and at the same time treat any mood symptoms that may be going along and helping them in their recovery. Is there a particular uh, demographic that you s are seeing? Pretty wide open because pretty... there's uh, one of my colleagues is a child psychiatrist and so he sees the uh, under 16 and uh, the other psychiatrists I work with we, we see all the uh, older adolescents and on up. Uh, so the whole range um, from pediatrics to geriatrics from little kids to elderly folks. So when they come to get assessed or evaluated and you're doing that initial, is it, uh, do you have a different, I don't know, set of questions or a different way of doing it depending on the age or yeah. is it just, Yeah, it, just, okay. it does vary with age, yeah. Um, there's going to be less of a history in someone who's younger um, and somebody who's older has got a, a longer life story to tell. Um, uh, and somebody who's coping with more medical conditions we may focus on that and what they're struggling with in terms of illness. Um, somebody's younger, it might be, you know, what households are they having at home and raising their kids, and that might be the major stressor for, for a mom or a dad. If someone is having a condition, where could they go to get checked out or they think they might be having Well, the a... first start was to check in with a family medicine provider, primary care provider at Vista Community Clinics or, or through their uh, obstetrician at the Women's Center. Um, it could be their uh, uh, son's pediatrician um, and then ask about a referral to, to seeing somebody in behavioral health.